today i am going to discuss some problems based upon application of zeros here some results important results based upon zeros of a quadratic polynomial in your earlier classes you have already studied that algebraic identity formulas like a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab like that a square plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab or you can write a minus b whole square plus 2ab like that some uh, uh, important results based upon the zeros of uh, quadratic polynomials are as follows alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 e alpha beta is equal to also you can write alpha minus beta whole square plus 2 alpha beta again also you can write alpha square minus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta into alpha minus beta this is in the form of a square minus b square formula you know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b similarly alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha minus beta whole square is equal to 4 alpha beta again a q plus b q formula you know that a q plus b q is equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b whole into a plus b like that alpha q plus beta cube is equal to alpha plus beta whole cube minus 3 alpha beta whole into alpha plus beta again alpha minus beta is equal to alpha minus beta whole cube plus 3 alpha beta in whole into alpha minus beta remember these formulas is very much useful one example I will explain now based on this uh, application this is application of zeros the question is if alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c then find the values of alpha minus beta and alpha square plus beta square for that what is given here alpha and beta are the zeros of this polynomial polynomial is given here a x square plus p x plus c is the polynomial given and alpha and beta are the two zeros the two zeros of this polynomials are alpha and beta so you know that the sum of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial is equal to minus b by a so you can write alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and product of zero also you know that product of zeros of a quadratic polynomials is equal to c by a so you can write alpha into beta is equal to c by a what given to find alpha minus beta is given to find for alpha minus beta given so you need to apply this formula you know that you see which formula is applicable here to find to find alpha minus beta i think this formula is applicable we know that alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha minus beta whole square is equal to 4 alpha beta that implies in place of alpha plus beta you can substitute minus b by a whole square minus alpha minus beta whole square because this one you need to find is equal to 4 into in place of alpha beta you can write c by a that implies this minus alpha minus beta whole square you say in that side this one you bring this side so this one you can write 
a minus b by a whole square is equal to b square by a square minus 4c by a is equal to alpha minus beta whole square this one you can take lcm as a a, uh, a sorry a square that is b square minus 4ac is equal to alpha minus beta whole square i took lcm so that implies you can write alpha minus beta is equal to the square will come to the right hand uh, left hand side it will become the square root square root of b square minus 4ac divided by a square this one you can write under root of b square minus 4ac divided by square root of a square is a similarly you want to find alpha square plus beta square you know that alpha square plus beta square formula alpha plus beta whole square minus 2a 2 alpha beta otherwise you can apply alpha minus beta whole square plus 2 alpha beta is equal to in place of alpha plus beta you can substitute minus b by a whole square minus 2 into c by a so here you can write b square by a square minus 2c by a is equal to you can take lcm as a square so b square minus 2ac you can write because a you have to multiply here and a you have to multiply here so b square minus 2ac by a square is the answer